having boundaries is great, but becoming a boundary is better. Let's look at the definitions of having versus being. Having means to own or to possess something. So if you have boundaries, you possess boundaries. They are with you. If you are being a boundary, if you embody that, being means a state of existence. So being a boundary means that you are in a state of existence of embodiment of whatever you want to divide yourself from. So the actual definition of a boundary is a divided line that divides one area from another. So it's a divided line and they're so important. So having them is great, but if you want to become a boundary, there are a few things that you can do. And when I think about this, I think about how I want to grow closer to God each day. I want to be more like God each day. And when I think about God, God himself is a boundary. God does not have boundaries. God doesn't need boundaries because God is a boundary. And I was at the beach and on the water, there is a line of rocks that separate the calm waters that people can you know, swim and flow in, snorkel from the more rough waters that are coming in. So those rough waters, they clash against the rocks and calm down as the water kind of trickles through that earth, those rocks, and smooths out the water. I have been studying earth so that I can embody these qualities of earth. And I've been studying all of the elements, earth, fire, water, and air. And I am placing these studies and all the inner work that I've been doing around embodying these elements into a course. It is a course that is continually updated. So the link for that will be in the description. I find the elements fascinating because it makes me think about the avatar. I'll talk more about this later. So to become a boundary, think about putting your place, putting yourself in places that you want to be. Never put yourself in a place that is going to lower your vibration. Only put yourself in places that's going to raise your vibration and is going to enhance your life in some way. When we think about people, people who I feel embody being a boundary are people who have are like highly skilled and someone like this just comes to mind is Oprah, right? When you think about Oprah, Oprah is not going to be putting herself in a place where her value will be diminished. I also think about Issa Rae, right? Issa Rae to me is like a boundary for certain things because there are just things that won't enter into her reality because she is a boundary for that. And so only put yourself in places and in positions that will raise you up, raise your vibration. Also, get very familiar with who you are and your purpose. Know who you are and know your purpose. This is one way to really become grounded and to exalt God within you, right? By grounding yourself or humbling yourself. Humble just means on the ground or low. But when you do that, you are able to exalt God within you. So by exalting God within you, you have to know your purpose. God put you here for a purpose. You have to know who you are. You have to know who you are, how you were born here, 
and how that plays into your identity, how that has programmed you, how all those things have come into your subconscious mind and contributed to your self-concept, your self-story. You have to accept these things and also understand that though they are there, they don't have to define you as long as you make that decision, as long as you make that choice. And by following your purpose, you are able to trust so deeply in God. You're able to trust so deeply in yourself that you will not allow certain things in your life that do not align with that. Therefore, you are becoming a boundary. You are becoming a line, a divided line, only for what is aligned to come to you. And so exalt God by knowing your purpose, knowing who you are, and knowing, hmm, I can let this define me or not. For example, I am a black woman. So being a black woman comes with a lot of programming that I had to dig a little deeper into how, you know, it's affecting my subconscious and things like that. I know that black people have a rich history of wealth, royalty, and also of slavery. And in school, I'm taught my history from the start of slavery and not from the start of Timbuktu and all these other great places in Babylon and all these places where black civilizations were doing amazing things, making amazing advancements in science, technology, spirituality, and ancient Egypt and all these things, right? I'm not taught that. I had to go and learn that. So now I know, okay, I'm black, right? So that doesn't mean that my whole life is slavery it also means like okay or my whole ancestral stuff is slavery which i felt for a long time especially with the media and the movies it's like no i'm black that's okay that's okay that's beautiful that's amazing right comes with a lot and also i since i know that i've accepted it and also i don't have to let that mean more than what it is honestly it doesn't have to mean more unless i want it to and there are some times where i want it to mean more such as owning a black owned business i want it to mean something then because it means that i am creating a space for my people and they can help me by us creating sort of a, a, a economy Right? We can help each other. Black businesses can help each other build each other up. And there's so much more that goes into just being black and being on earth and everything. But also another thing of conditioning is being a woman, right? So being a woman means that growing up, I dealt with a lot of things. I remember the first time I shaved my arm because I saw a little bit of hair on it. And I actually, hurt myself by doing that there was basically no hair there i remember that so vividly but all these things that women are taught and i had to kind of look at that and say yeah i'm a woman but that doesn't mean that all of the programming that i have i want to take on right we can choose the programming that we want to take on by looking at it acknowledging it accepting it and then seeing what we want to keep and what we want to discard so get to know who you are get to know your purpose because that's how you will exalt god ground yourself like the earth and become a boundary another way to do this is to So, let me think about this. I lost it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it back. Just enjoy the background while I think about it, okay? And enjoy me as well. So the way that you're going to do this, become a boundary, 
is by ignoring the things in your reality that you don't want to be there because when you start to ignore them they are no longer becoming a part of your world and therefore your frequency won't be aligned with that you won't be receiving that when you ignore something you're not receiving it you're not open to it and as you get into the habit of that and you're continually doing that <clears throat> it will become a part of you you will embody it and therefore your world will change you will no longer start to see those things so this comes with little things little tweaks that you can make to your thought patterns your thought process for example if you are at checkout at the grocery store and you receive your receipt right you know how much everything was you know you paid for it already but sometimes people have the habit of looking over the receipt making sure that nothing was itemized improperly or calculated improperly but what frequency is that putting out right it's kind of a clenching your money type of thing and you can tell when something is off right if the number is way too big or the number is way too small then you know but there are certain things that you want to ignore certain thoughts so a thought like that you can ignore because likely if you know you're ready for that because likely it is just blocking you from having a more pleasurable experience grocery shopping focus on the abundance of the groceries that you just got also ignoring certain things means you another tweak that you want to make is by choosing your words properly right choose your words the power of the tongue is just powerful you know that the power is powerful and god created the earth with god's words god said let there be light and there was light fun fact my high school like yearbook one of the pictures like my senior picture my quote was and god said let there be kira and there was kira so that's just a fun fact but god said let there be light and there was light so god spoke and then light was created we have that power when we speak it creates something for us so one example of this that i notice a lot that i am changing within myself also is the word spoiled spoil like i'm spoiled i'm so spoiled he spoils me ah spoil 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 why on earth would i want to be spoiled i don't want to be spoiled when i think about something being spoiled it's it's rotten it's dead it is the use is no good it has no good properties it has no life in it it's rotten right it's like spoiled rotten i don't want to be spoiled rotten i'd rather be renewed i'd rather be refreshed i'd rather be receiving so much and freshened like oh he freshens me he gives me life he he renews me he doesn't spoil me he just freshens me up you know like he gives me life or my friends are so amazing they freshen me with their love my friends give me life with their love so saying things like that little things like that that are so normal in our ways of speaking that we just don't notice it but then when you think about being spoiled um you're probably going to be less likely to do certain things but when you're fresh and given life you're more likely to do certain things because you have more life you have more energy and we want more energy right so becoming a boundary is amazing having boundaries is great as well but become that boundary so that you are the line you are those rocks on the water there is nothing that is going to get in your way when i looked at those rocks on the beach 
and I was studying them, I saw so much there. I was like, wow, this boundary is amazing. It allows people to swim without like being pulled into the sea. It allows life to come there. There were so many crabs and so many little sea slugs inside of the rocks and so many things that I observed that I myself want to embody like when you are a boundary such as those rocks you're able to hold a lot of energy you're able to bring in the things that you want and having this embodiment becoming a boundary allows you to be truly free it allows you to be truly free because all those things that are behind you that you are the divided line for are over there they can't come over here so you're free to receive all the things that you want right it's true freedom it's true self-love true self-evolution so become a boundary be more like god in that where it becomes so embodied that you don't have to think about it so you you don't have to think about okay what boundaries did i write down in my journal right it's just like oh i'm gonna ignore this because i don't even know like i can't see it like i i just can't like i can't see that i don't it's not here for me it doesn't exist and get that true freedom that true groundedness and just being a boundary that safety of being humble and grounded and if you want to learn how to be fierce like fire grounded like earth sparkling like water and powerful like the air get this course it is called embodiment of the elements you can find it on my website thelifeofhoney.com this is important especially if you are a woman you want to be fierce grounded sparkling and powerful where all of these elements meet magic happens we want to be a place where all of the elements meet right think about the beach right when i was thinking talking about the beach the beach has the earth the rocks the sand the water the fresh air the oxygen from the algae the sun is the fire it's like magic happens at the beach think about you know a farm or even like a fruit growing a fruit growing needs all the elements it needs the sunlight it needs the water it needs the carbon the the air the oxygen and it needs the uh did i say i said sunlight you know water it needs all the elements <laughs> okay and magic happens when you bite into that juicy fruit life is there we are the elements so like I was saying before, it's almost like being the avatar in real life. You're able to use whatever element you want at the time that you want because you, they're inside of you. You know how to activate it within you. You already know the qualities, the properties that each element has, and you know that it's actually in you because you did the work and also God created you. Therefore, you can pull it out whenever you want. And so I just hope you have a beautiful day. Peace.